Brian, about five minutes after the noon hour, the Packers losing a key member of their coaching staff. Denver Broncos are finalizing a deal to make offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett their new head coach. Lance Allen here to break down what this could mean for the Packers. Hey, Lance. Hey, Vince. In the short term, it means the Packers will need a new offensive coordinator, whether promoting from within, more likely, or bringing in someone to head up the offense, which is less likely. But in the slightly longer term, it could mean a comfortable landing spot if Aaron Rodgers is traded. Nathaniel Hackett, the Packers offensive coordinator with Matt LaFleur the past three years, credited with revamping the offense and the revival of Aaron Rodgers' career, which adds intrigue because BetOnline.com places Denver as the odds-on favorite to land Aaron Rodgers, the Broncos rumored to be a possible destination last offseason as well. So this will certainly fuel those rumors. Will it be enough to become reality? Aaron Rodgers says he'll let the Packers know before the start of free agency. And no official word from the Broncos as of yet, but A.J. Dillon, Alan Lazard, MVS all tweeting congrats to their former offensive coordinator on the news today. Quarterbacks coach and passing game coordinator Luke Getze and offensive line coach and run game coordinator Adam Stenovich, the likely candidates to replace Hackett. Vince? You know, Lance Aaron Rodgers also said that he was not interested in going into a team that was rebuilding. Are the Broncos with now a new head coach not rebuilding? I would say they're not rebuilding, but the other but argument not on the there, other side right, of this yeah. coin is they're not there yet. Yeah. In fact, I would argue that other than, the, you know, beyond the Packers, there aren't a lot of greener pastures out there. So to me, the Broncos situation isn't better but they're not rebuilding either. They're trying to like retool on the fly, so to speak. Uh, one more quick one too. Uh, there was a time where I, I believe assistants who were still in the playoffs could not interview for jobs, right? Lance, that those, some of those rules changed. Any possibility that Coach Hackett had other things on his mind before we went into a spectacularly <laughs> unspectacular <laughs> offensive performance? He seems to be pretty organized, Vince, so I'm not going to blame it on that. Yes, and you're right. They can interview that first week of the playoffs and kind of, you know, like get things set so that way they're not behind the eight ball or way behind or missing out on jobs okay. and things like that. So I, I, I'm not going to pin it on that. I'm, I just think it's they, they just didn't play well after that first <laughs> touchdown, personally. Sometimes <laughs> bad was just bad. Bad right. is bad. All right, thanks, Lance.